Well, a very good morning, everyone, and thanks for clicking on my new video. Today, I'm in the beautiful village of Laycock on the edge of the Cotswolds. Laycock is famous for its historic buildings, its abbey and cloisters, and for being the most filmed village in England. Many movies and TV series have been filmed here, including Pride and Prejudice, Downton Abbey, Cranford, Fantastic Beasts, The Other Berlin Girl, Wolfman, and the Harry Potter franchise. Let's go and explore Laycock Village and the Abbey. Along the way, I'll point out nine individual filming locations.
And this is one of the famous pubs in Laycock, the sign of the angel. I'll put a little note as to how old the pub is, but I think it goes back to the Middle Ages. You can see the half timber and beautiful architecture. It's a hotel as well, so you can stay here if you really want to. And yeah, it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. Closed at the moment, so we can't get a cream tea, but maybe later. The sign of the angel. Now we're in the center of Laycock now, and you may recognize this area. This is where some of Downton Abbey, the TV series was filmed. It was an outside uh, scene, uh, lots of animals and like a market scene. This was filmed here. And this pub is another famous pub, the Carpenter's Arms. Laycock has three pubs in total, so there's plenty of places to go for a drink or lunch or cream tea. This is a lovely old building, the Carpenter's Arms. And over here, you may recognize this. This is Laycock Bakery. This is also used in a scene in one of the Harry Potter films. Closed at the moment. And it's a Sunday morning, it's about 10 o'clock, but it's very, very quiet and it's a beautiful day. It's sunny, it's cold, but blue skies and sunshine. So it's the perfect day to explore this village that hasn't changed for hundreds of years. As you can see from the architecture, no satellite dishes, no overhead cables, very much as it was hundreds of years ago. distance here you can see the church we're going to go and look at that again as I said it's a Sunday morning so it may not be something that we can go and see because people may be getting ready for services here's the King John's hunting lodge now a tea room and restaurant Well, this is St. Cyriac's Church. The present church was built in the 15th century 
but there was a church on this site built back in the 11th century by the Saxons. Syriac was Norman, a Norman saint, who was a Christian martyr murdered by the Romans in 303 AD. This church has been associated with the English royal family for many years, with the Queen Mother paying regular visits. In 2006, Syriac hosted the wedding of Harry Lopez and Laura Parker Bowles, the daughter of the Duchess of Cornwall, who maintains a house nearby. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, is of course now the wife and queen of King Charles III, and the couple attended the wedding along with Prince Harry, Prince William, Kate Middleton, who now of course is Catherine, the Princess of Wales. For many years, the church was the home of the Laycock Silver Cup. The cup dates from the mid 15th century and has been described as one of the most significant pieces of secular English medieval silver. It now lives in the British Museum.
Now up here is a very famous little cottage. This cottage was used in the filming of one of the Harry Potter films. I don't go too close because it is a private house, but that's where young Harry lived in one of the early films. I'll put a little caption to show you which film it was because I can't remember. But yeah, that's Harry Potter's home when he was a young lad. This is the Red Lion. This was used in the making of Pride and Prejudice. I'll put a description below as to what building it was. Um, but yeah, very famous old pub, an old building in Laycock and used in Pride and Prejudice and I think maybe in some other films as well. We're back on the high street now and uh, as the sun is now out, let's just go and have another look down here.
I'm at the entrance to Lake or Abbey now that includes the cloisters and obviously a um, museum um, which is known as the birthplace of photography. So let's go and have a look at what that's got to offer. So here we are now in the Abbey grounds and it's a beautiful day. Polish again for the wind but Lake or Abbey has been here for hundreds of years. I'll put a link to the actual date below. And it was the home of Fox Tolbert. And he, as I said before, produced the first photographic negative. And he did it by taking a photograph of a window at the Abbey. And that window is still here today. And there's a lovely museum here, which we'll go and explore. And it's, um, there's spring bulbs out, it's absolutely beautiful. Well, the daffodils are just starting to poke their heads out. A sure sign that winter is coming to an end and spring is around the corner. And we've had so much wind and rain in England that I can't wait for the spring. And we'll be back in the spring and the summer when the flowers are out in full bloom. And it is a tremendous sign. Again, apologies for the wind. And here it is the Abbey. It's an interesting building because it's been an Abbey, it's been a manor house, it's been a lot of things. The home of the Fox Talbots. And it's absolutely stunning. And we're going to go inside and find the cloisters as these were where some of the Harry Potter films were filmed. I think.
So, we're almost at the Abbey now, and we're going to go and find the cloisters. The Abbey is itself, the rooms are closed during winter time, but the cloisters are open. So we're going to go and find those. how large the grounds are. And you can, these are open to the public. You don't pay to come in here. You can walk your dog. It's beautiful. Today is a beautiful dry day, thankfully. Laycop Abbey was founded in 1232 by Ella, Countess of Salisbury, following the dissolution of the monasteries. The abbey was turned into a home that was built over the medieval cloister. And this is where some of the Harry Potter films were made. You might remember the scenes from those films. I'm not a Harry Potter expert, so I can't tell you right now which film, but I will put a little 
explanation here so you can um, maybe watch the film and spot the cloister but yeah absolutely stunning it says welcome to Lakeop Abbey almost 800 years ago in 1232 it was founded by an Augustian Augustian convent for Catholic nuns between 1536 and 1541 religious houses like this one and their assets were seized by King Henry VIII called the dissolution this caused great upheaval in English society the nuns or monks were evicted and the buildings sold so William Sherrington purchased Lakeop Abbey the cloister and humes you, have to, you are about to explore have changed very little over the centuries Lakeop Abbey is one of the most complete survivals of a medieval nunnery in England a cloister was a private place for nuns to spend their day in prayer and contemplation between church services. This is known as the Chapter House. The vaulted sea. The chapter house, each day the nuns would gather here to listen to chapter from the set of rules which governed their way of life. They were laid down by the order who governed each monastery. This is known as the Warming House. This marvellous cauldron was made in 1500 in Antwerp. It may have been used in the nun's kitchen, which became the kitchen of the house, where it may have been acquired later as an ornament for the gardens. Charles Tolbert positioned it here after a falling tree, narrowly missed it in 1903. Local legend says that the cauldron was, was used during a visit of Queen Anne in the early 1700s when a side of pork and a sack load of peas were cooked for Her Majesty's pleasure.
William Henry Fox Talbot inherited Laycock in 1800, he and his family altered the abbey and grounds to fit the lifestyle of Victorian household.
they look good. The stall on the wall. Mm, cakes, jams, homemade, yum. Well, that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please click like share and please subscribe it's great for the channel i'll bring you another video soon and in the meantime i'm popping across the road to the george inn for a drink thanks again for watching see you for another video very soon